हाय फ्रेंड्स आई एम अरुण जोड़ी यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम टू आवर चैनल टेक्निकल कॉन्सेप्ट तो आप टूडेज टॉपिक इज फायर लिमिट सो इन दिस वीडियो यू विल सी व्हाट इज यायर लिमिट व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ योर फायर लिमिट एंड व्हाट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ योर फायर लिमिट सो ऑल दिस वी विल सी इन दिस वीडियो सो लेट स्टार्ट आर वीडियो विदाउट वेस्टिंग योर टाइम सो ए फायर लिमिट इज इन नथिंग बट इट्स फुल फॉर्म इज फिल्टर रेगुलेटर एंड लुम्पिकेटर ओके दिस इज ए न्यूमेटिक डिवाइस This device contains filter, regulator, and loop decoder. All these three equipment, three instruments in a single unit. You can see that this is a FR unit. It physically looks like this. Here, this is filter, this is loop decoder, and this is regulator. This this knob is known as regulator. This regulates. That means it reduces or increases the flow of air. Okay, and this is filter. This filters the particles from the air. And this is lubricated. This contains oils. This supply oils in the oil for lubrication purpose. Okay, it looks like this, or like this depends on the design of manufacturer. Okay, now let's see what is the requirement of a fire limit. So, air leaving a compressor is hot, dirty, and wet, which can damage the shorten the life of equipment such as walls and cylinders. So, before it is sending to the equipment, it should be. Uh, Filter and uh, lubricated, uh, regulated. Regulated means it can be decreased or increased according to the requirement. Okay. Now we we'll see the function of filter in the FR unit. So air line filter remove cont uh, contaminants from the pneumatic system, preventing damage to equipment. So generally, this, there are three types of filter used in FR unit. FR unit. their general purpose colizing uh, type and vapor removal so general purpose uh, filters are used to remove water and uh, dust particles present in the air compressed air okay now colizing filters are used to remove oil okay and vapor removal filters are used to remove vapor of oil and water vapor present in the water okay so this is the diff three different types of filters used in fire element now we we'll see regulator so pressure regulator that boost and control pressure in the compressed air system okay it is, and it is also known as pressure reducing valve because it reduces the pressure from high pressure to low pressure okay when we are uh, generating compressed air in a compressor then that compressed air is not a uh, continuous type it is a fluctuating type compressed air okay but when we are uh, supplying any uh, compressed air to any instruments or any equipment then that compressed air should be continuous there should be no uh, fluctuation in that uh, compressed air so for avoiding the fluctuation we are using regulator this regulator uh, removes fluctu uh, fluctuation from the compressed air that is coming from the compressed air okay and supplying regular uh, compressed air at constant pressure to the equipments okay now we see lub uh, lubricator this function of this lubricator is to supply lubricating oil in small quantity into the equipments like uh, some valves or cylinders which are present in the machine or any uh, equipment okay so lubrication is very important in a pneumatic uh, system okay if lubrication is not provided then uh, that equipments will not uh, function properly and it requires high pressure of air so for avoiding the any dysfunction in the uh, pneumatic equipments we are providing a very small quantity of lubricating oil in the compressed air so function of this lubricator is, uh, is to provide uh, lubricating oil in the compressed air so that our uh, uh, pneumatic equipments uh, function properly so this is all about the today's video i hope you like the video then if you like the video then please press the like button subscribe the channel and share this video so thanks for watching bye bye